Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to try something on the Variac, but the Variac just gives out 420 volts 3 phase, and that's not so much. I wanted a bit more voltage and it didn't work. So, some days ago, I found the last transformer. I had two bigger transformers, and I found the last one. So I can connect, so I connected them up like this. These are three pretty big uh, toroidal transformers. I had these two laying around, but some days ago I found this uh, large one, which is exactly identical to these ones, but looks a little bit smaller. So these are have two secondaries, 910 watts. So that's nearly one kilowatt. That's a two kilowatt transformer. And this is a 2 kilowatt transformer, same thing, 220 volt, 4 amps. And this one is the same as well, but it's upside down, so all the electrons will fall out. So it's, all of them have this uh, 22 volt, 4 amp thing, but we don't want 24 volts here. So we got two 210 volt outputs, what can we do? Yes, I connected them in series to give out 440 volts instead. So yes, three phase, 440 volts. It's like 420 volt input and we will get like 840 volt output. And the three phase configuration, this will be like 707 kilowatts maybe. No, not 7 kilowatts, it's like nearly 6 kilowatts. So it's like uh, adding all of these together. But not very much like that because we have a square of 3 somewhere in the equation. So it's not exactly 6 kilowatts, it's a little bit less. So it's with this thing we can have 840 volts and I want to blow something up with it. Maybe a complete computer. The capacitors will like fly out. That's a lot of voltage. And 4 amp continuous on the output and 8 amps on the input. Let's turn it on and see how it sounds. A very nice hum out of that. Here we've got the voltmeter connected between neutral and L1. Because if I connect my multimeter between uh, L, like two phases, it will like blow up. Because it's like a maximum uh, 600 volts. So yes, now with this uh, good uh, wingman, I can uh, crank the voltage up and down. I like motorized Variax. That's beeping because it does like to shut itself off. And yes, it's pretty heavy. It weighs like uh, 50 kilograms, or like ni nearly 100 pounds. This little 9 volt battery is like a comparison. What a nice three phase glove. And inside this junction box. We got some schematics, how it's connected. Got this input primary. And here's how the secondary looks like. Uh, secondary is in series, like that. And inside is a lot of uh, wires. They're already connected to the transformer here. We got this 20, 22 volt uh, here, we, we don't want that for anything. These four terminals here with the grey wires, wires are 24 volt as well. That meter just shut itself off. And here we've got the good stuff. That's the main uh, secondaries. And they are bridged here to connect them in series like that. 
I got it. It's, it's, yeah, eight hundred volt connector connector wire here, and you got the four hundred volt connector wire here. This primary here, secondary is here. This will be pretty fun. So yes, that was a bigger one, and I have a smaller one as well. This is just used as an isolation transformer. This is like one kilowatt transformer on that. A little bit smaller. This weighs like 21 uh, kilograms or like uh, 45 pounds. So, so that's why it's much heavier. Got this little plate here with some wheels under it. It's much easier to move it around. So yes, if you know something to blow up with this, please comment. Thanks for watching.